Welcome people of the internet, my name is Talent, and today guys, we're going to be discussing some drama that I have talked about with Kaiju Canuck and a few people on the Kaiju Hugbox server. So if you guys do not know the channel Dangerville, they make Godzilla Jurassic Park content. But I've noticed, and a few other people have noticed, that they have done very certain things that have pissed off the community, and they are not acknowledging. I don't see anybody else acknowledging this drama. So I want to be the one that steps forward and brings this drama to light. Firstly, I want to talk about the stuff me and Kaiju Canuck talked about on our stream last week. So they clickbaited a video and let me just show you that video real quick. Okay, so we are currently on their channel and it's this video right here. This Godzilla X Kong update is big. They did not talk about Godzilla X Kong at all. Not at all. They talk about 70th anniversary, Kong Survivor Instinct, Godzilla vs. Kong vs. the Justice League 2, the new toys that were announced, set photos of Jurassic World Rebirth, Becky Godzilla Final Battle version from SH Monster Arts, and Jacob says that he has like a video for Godzilla's 70th anniversary. But where did they talk about Godzilla x Kong? It's non existent. It's just non existent in this video. And that pisses me off because. If you can't tell, or if you want to go look at our stream, I'm a big fan. If you can, if you can't tell, I watch their videos a lot, and they're really highly well-edited videos. I want to talk about some other stuff that they have done. So they claim to be a source for Godzilla news, but they don't cover anything that's not mainstream. So if people are just entering this fandom and discovering them, they have no idea what not mainstream like Godzilla vs. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Godzilla vs. Justice League. Their lore videos, it's basically just a repeat of what's said in the movies. They say that they support the community and how they support the fandom, but I don't see anything or other people are not seeing how they do that. They're only making these Godzilla videos because it's, it's, it's in high demand. They just seem really lazy to put in any effort into doing the research because all they say is just stuff that's already been said and they pretend to be an accurate, re like reputable source for Godzilla news and updates. For example, their Guy Gain Destroy and Space Godzilla videos, they had such little information about them. So if you're gonna be a reputable source, you should at least do your research. They also claim Zone Fighter isn't connected to the mainline films. For example, it's the show era, but it is connected. Even I know that. They're hurting smaller kaiju YouTubers like me, Kaiju Canuck, and anybody else that's a small kaiju YouTuber. They clickbait some of their videos, so us smaller YouTubers get swept under the rug. They are the probably the biggest Godzilla creators on the platform. But yet they give so little information about some of the kaiju that they talk about and they also click baiting their videos and also the youtube algorithm is buying into them as in this reputable godzilla news and updates uh source and as a smaller creator we are forced to go up against the algorithm and bigger creators you're destroying smaller creators but that's essentially all i have to say i just wanted to bring some of this stuff to light because i know smaller creators are being hurt by this so but if you guys like all things godzilla please subscribe to my channel and i also want to let you guys know that i'm now an affiliate with cow kiss toys link in the description to my store and if you guys do order from my store you guys get five percent off your order and i also get a small commission so it also helped me as a smaller creator thank you for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next one peace